the reason we call it one month in the first place yeah, is because yeah. we think of it as like a journey, like the learning of a, of a new thing from you know day one to day 30, and what are the steps that we can take people through along the way. You know, we're just stuck typically in this mentality of teaching, of thinking about teaching that like you just throw more facts at people without constructing a story around mm. that. But people learn better when things are in the form of a story. There's just a lot more resources and people are experimenting more. But I think there was a waking point when people are like, it's not about just pressing record and, and uploading it. But now there's like this journey afterwards to make sure the student's completing stuff. The lessons improve just because we're not afraid to put something out there. And we've done the class maybe three or four times, start to finish over again. But always putting it out there, learning from it, and redoing the videos, and we'll, we'll keep doing that. So it's important for us, but it's also important to just keep improving. The coolest thing about using online video for education is that you can literally see where people are pausing the, the video and going back, and, and you can map that up with like the concepts that you're explaining in the videos. I mean, I think it's great that so many people can have access to teachers and that so many people could become teachers. Um, I think, it's, I think it's only amazing, and uh, I think the best ones will rise to the top. For the first time ever, we're seeing that like one person with uh, their webcam can become an instructor to thousands or tens of thousands of people all over the world. I think what I'm excited for is, is really just telling the story of how to learn quickly and effectively. Effectively is, is really part of that, and I think it's possible. I think it's about tapping into like why someone wants to learn in the first place, yeah. right? And, and as educators, it's so easy to forget why someone's coming to you because they want to know something. Whether it's because you know they just want to get a new job and get paid more, or they like want to build something, or they just work with developers all the time and they hear the stuff but they're confused, mm. right? And and we kind of we don't address that enough in education. We just sort of like assume that there's a right way to teach, and you just you start with the basics and you work your way towards some goal and we never talk about you know what the person's trying to get out of it but i think the future of education is going to be really like targeted towards you and the skill that you're trying to get out of it